So you've created your form, you've added your questions, you have three different sections, one where you're sharing stuff, another where you've got some feedback on favorites, and one with an open-ended question. Well, how do you get to the results? First, you have to have someone take the quiz or fill out the form. So you click send, and once again, the link button, it looks like a chain link. And if you would like to, you can copy and paste and open it in a new tab and fill it out yourself. It also helps see if there's any issues with phrasing or order or anything like that. And so, looks good. I already filled this out myself. So when I come back to the screen, do you see where it says responses? Click it. And in this case, it's me. I'm going to click up here. Do you see the three dots? So if you wanted to get email notifications for new responses, you could do that. It might get really, really tedious. Only turn that on if it's something like an order form or a help desk ticket or something like that. Select response destination. You could click here. And you could either create a brand new spreadsheet, or let's say you had a spreadsheet, you have a series of check-ins, such as the ones we're doing this week for our language training. You could click select, and you could link it up to one that you've already been using, and it would add it as a bottom tab that would be different. So instead, for this one, it's not related to anything I've been doing. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and hit create. It'll open it up in a new tab. Well, it didn't open it up. <laughs> Over here, click view responses in sheets and it'll open up the one you just created. And here is where you can start to see the different activities, the different things that you're doing, and even the responses that are open-ended. Notice each one has a title, so every question appears up here at the top and all of the answers appear below. Let's say that I wanna share these results with you all so that you can give feedback to each other's forms. And that would be fine. In order to do that, you don't really need to know any of this other information. What you need to know is the form so you don't need to know their priority. So we can right click, hide column. It doesn't delete the information. It just hides it so the people looking are not going to be the ones who, uh, they're not gonna be able to see everybody else's information. And so those last questions that, let's go ahead and right click, hide. So the only thing you really need to be able to see is the name of the person, maybe their language or school, and the link to the form that you're going to create. So what's gonna happen is, all of you are going to submit a link to your form, and we're gonna go through as a team, we're gonna be divided into teams of five, and everybody's gonna go in and fill in each other's form, so we will all have data in about five minutes. When you go to share this, just like in a normal Google Doc, click Share, and then, do you see how it says restricted when you go to get link? You wanna change that. You wanna always change it to NEISD, unless somebody is going to be using their personal cell phone. And in that case, you might wanna consider opening it up if you're having a parent survey or students. In this case, everyone's using their school computer, so I can leave it as Northeast ISD, and I'm gonna copy that link now that I've given permission to everyone to view it. And I'm gonna go over to my presentation that I created. So we're gonna fill out each other's forms. So I'm gonna highlight this. And I'm gonna click the button that's insert link, or you can click control K, or you can right click and find that symbol that looks like a chain link, paste it in there, and hit apply. So when you all click on this, you're going to see the results so you all can start clicking away at each other's and sampling them out. Notice I'm gonna to have to change the formatting so this shows up better. But in the meantime, as soon as you watch this, you're going to go to this slide and 
fill out for five different members of your team, or I guess four others, because you will be one of them.